Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and this is Explained, the show where we break down the tech in the gear that you use. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Gilson's soft edge technology. What is it? How does it work? And do you need it? Newsflash, you don't need it. Soft edge technology is proprietary to Gilson snowboards. So what it is, is you have the edge here, it goes like this, and then it comes down, and then you got the butter pad. Basically, it's a 3D shaping on the board, and to be honest with you, it's fucking garbage! It's fucking trash! Oh my god, is it fucking garbage! So the way that it works is they mill the core thinner along the edge, while thicker in the middle, and they don't have a machine that does this, they hand plane it, so it's inconsistent. You can even see that from their video on their website. But what you get is thicker core, thinner at the edges, creating that step effect. And what that does is it elevates the edge so it makes it softer so you can butter more. What it's really doing is it's taking away your edge control and you're sitting on that center section of the board. What this does is it reduces that contact of the edge, and if you impact anything, like you get a base gouge or a core shot, you got this imperfection that you can't fix unless you hand sand it down. It really doesn't have any added actual benefit to your riding, unless you're like such a beginner that you're worried about the edge catching, and even then, bevel your fucking edges on your snowboard, you'll be fine. This shit's straight trash. Trash. I'm telling you, it is straight trash. The inconsistency in the core profiling. When I take this cross cut from one of their boards that I cut in half so that I could show you this imperfection, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's no actual consistency in how it's pressed. This shit is trash. It's a marketing gimmick created by a guy that was a skier slash... I think he was a shop teacher or something. He wasn't a snowboarder who thought he created something original. Dina Star actually did this back in the 70s and it didn't last, just so everyone knows. You really can't find much out about it, but anyone that's been around will tell you that it did exist. It's trash. This, sh this shit, you don't need this. If you buy this, you bought into marketing gimmick bullshit because you don't know how to snowboard. And their whole, oh, it makes it so, you know, you can control your edge better. You watch the videos of these guys riding it looks like they have no edge control whatsoever and that's the thing it's not like 3bt it's not like sideways rocker it's not like 3d crust buster nose 3bt any of that stuff where that actually works this literally just takes your edge control completely away and it's an inferior product you lose so much edge control with this thing. I mean, if you want to side slip around and you don't actually want to turn, good for you, I guess. It's not snowboarding to me, that's just someone fumbling around looking like a fucking putz. Did you learn what Gilson's soft edge technology is? Good, because hopefully you learned you don't fucking need this garbage ass shit. If you didn't and you're gonna try to defend this, just unsubscribe. Crawl off back under what rock you came out of and go back into your cave, you troglodyte. Anyways, if you're new here and I still have your attention, subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing and you like the fact that we're not afraid to call out bullshit companies, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll continue to be your host, Averin Lefebvre, until Gilson puts out a hit on me and kills me, and I'll see you in another video.